welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to show you how to speed spring clean certain areas in your house. No one should have to spend hours upon hours cleaning their home and I'm going to show you just how to make it a faster and easier process on you. If that sounds like something you'd want to watch, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and stick around. Let's get started. The first tip I'm going to give you is to start from the top and work your way down. So dust your vents, vacuum your vents. I even have this weird vent above my doors, so I'm going to clean those too. Dust any TVs, walls, corners, behind the TVs. That one's very important because a lot of dust builds up back there with electronics. Take all the linen off your bed, all the way down, pillows, sheets, mattress covers if you've got one. Vacuum your mattress if you want to go that far. Put some baking soda on it, let it sit for a little bit, and then vacuum that part off. Do all the artwork that's on your walls. Dust that stuff really good. Dust your headboard. If you have a fabric headboard, vacuum that thing off too because a lot of skin cells will go into that headboard. I do not like putting my pillows into the washing machine and the dryer. I don't like what it does to them, so I'm just gonna sit here and Lysol them very good and let them dry. Get down on the floor and clean out from under your bed. If you can move your bed, that's even better. This thing is so heavy, there's not a chance I'm gonna be able to move this thing, so I just have to clean it out this way, vacuum under there, get that carpet good and cleaned up, and then put back whatever goes under there. I'm just using my trusty multi-surface cleaner that I use for everything. That way I can do the baseboards, the footboards, everything on this bed, the dresser, the nightstand, the windows, and just keep going with the one cleaner, but make sure to clean all the furniture in your room better than you normally would. This is deep cleaning. Get into all the little cracks and crevices really well. Any furniture you can move, move it. Look behind this nightstand as I move it out of the way. You can see all the crap back there. Clean all that up. Wipe down the baseboard. Wipe down the wall. Wipe down any furniture that you can't really reach when the piece is sitting back in its spot. Vacuum the area really good. Take your time vacuuming. Don't rush it, that way you get all that extra dust and buildup that lives under that piece of furniture. Put all the furniture back where it goes and make sure to dust off any trinkets that live on top of these pieces. Dust your lamps, dust your clocks, all of those things. Dust them off really, really well. For the windows, first I apologize that the lighting changes, windows and a camera don't mix. I like to take a Swiffer duster, go over the blinds once, open them up and do the other side of the blinds. Same pattern with the Swiffer duster. You can even spray some Pledge on the Swiffer duster to help it a little bit if you would like. Clean the windows really well with whatever glass cleaner that you like. If you can, open the windows and do the other side as well. Otherwise, put that on your to-do list for when you do outside spring cleaning to do the exterior of your windows. Last but not least, give your floor a very good vacuum. Go over it in both directions. Just take your time because you're really trying to get in all of that dust. If you want to go ahead and steam clean your floors, now is when you would do that. Moving into the main living area, do the exact same thing. Dust the walls, the corners, any artwork on your walls, dust off the top of your blinds, dust the entire set of blinds, both sides. Clean your windows, same as before, favorite glass cleaner, get all the streaks, fingerprints, dog snot, whatever's on these windows, get it off. Open them up and clean the outside if you can. Dust your TV, the wall around your TV. Even if you don't really look at it, go look at the wall behind your TV. There's dust on the wall. And clean really well behind the TV because I'm gonna show you right here. It is nasty how much dust builds up behind your television. For the furniture in your living room, you wanna focus on all the little cracks and crevices that you never really pay attention to when you're just general dusting. And make sure when you're doing this, you're not dusting around items, you're moving things out of the way, dusting the whole area, and then putting the items back. Mm -hmm. 
as I kick my coffee table, we're gonna move over to the couch, take your throw pillows off, take your throw blankets, throw those things into the washing machine, get those really good and clean. Vacuum your couch on top of the cushions, the sides of the cushions, bottom, under, the whole nine yards, vacuum the entire thing. If you want to, throw those suckers in the washer too. I don't do that with my couch. I just spot clean mine. Under this couch, yeah, you can see all these poker chips. My teenager has a poker set. My toddler likes the poker chips. They're all in my couch with cereal, food, who knows what else is under this couch. It's disgusting. But give this thing a really good vacuum. Get all the food that's stuck in there. Wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. You can even put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on that cloth and wipe down this little black area down here where the food is and it cleans it up real nice. Make sure to go under every single cushion. Do not skip them because there can be, I had a stuck pop tart underneath the far back of one of those cushions. I didn't even know it was there because it's a spot we never ever see. Move your couch if you can, get that thing completely out of the way and look behind it and on the floor under it. There's so much crumbs, food, dust, dog hair, you name it. Give that area a full vacuum. Go ahead and mop because you don't you don't move this thing frequently enough and stuff does get down here. There was like an old little juice mark. I'm not even sure how that got there, but there was a juice mark under the couch. Push the couch back, put it into place, and then as you could tell, stuff will pop out the front side. So go ahead and clean up those items too. While the coffee table is still completely out of the way, go ahead and vacuum and mop your living room area too before you put any of the furniture back where it belongs. A little tip for throw pillows, a cat hairbrush will bring them back to life. If you can see these pillows are here, they're the real fluffy kind, but they start to look matted. Use one of these, it takes an additional two to five minutes depending on how many pillows you have, but just give it a good brushing and they look brand new every time. Right here you can see the difference, the one on the left I haven't brushed yet, the one on the right is just beautiful, it's not matted, it's not stuck together, it's all fluffy again. Another tip is your baseboards. You can use a dryer sheet to get the dust off of them and a magic eraser to clean them. Obviously check your paint first to make sure it can handle a magic eraser. But just take a dryer sheet, look at the dust. It comes right off. If you still have spots and they're dirty, take a magic eraser, wet it and wipe down the baseboard. They look brand new and it does make a giant difference in your house. Here is a clean baseboard as opposed to a dirty baseboard. And you can see night and day difference, it's a big deal. Doors also make a big difference. You can use magic erasers on your doors. Doesn't matter if it's the sheet or the bar, but I do go behind mine because sometimes it drips the wetness and I take a dry microfiber cloth and just dry where I've cleaned with the magic eraser. Also, not part of spring cleaning, this should be done monthly, but go clean your air filter or change it out. Just trust me on this, it's disgusting, go do it. For this round of speed cleaning, I am done. I managed to do the entire living room, master, and the whole entryway of the house, including the baseboard, checking spots on walls, doors, and it was less than two hours, not counting the time to wash the throw blankets and my sheets and comforters, things like that. That part's just not a factor in that time frame but it doesn't have to take long to thoroughly clean and deep clean your house. As long as you keep up and maintain your house like normal, 
doing the little deep cleaning parts don't have to take you forever. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope it gave you plenty of spring cleaning motivation as well as a few tips and tricks to speed up the process around your house. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more cleaning motivation, motherhood vlogs, anything like that, you can find it right here. I also will have spring cleaning of this entire kitchen coming. I haven't even begun to touch this area yet, as well as decluttering, organizing, and deep cleaning the kids' bedrooms and bathroom. All of that will be coming up over the next couple of weeks. Thank you guys again. Have a good day. Bye, guys.